We'll be going to Oakland High School, uh, play second round of the playoffs at 7 p.m. We have a big game. It's uh, do or die, so if we lose or out, if we win, we move on. So we're really excited. Tonight's game is very important because Oakland, they took us out last year, ended up winning state. It was a close game. We lost by seven, so uh, the opportunity to play them again this year at their place, 19th in the nation, their 19th in the nation as well. So it's going to be a big atmosphere, big game, and uh, we really want to play them again so we can get revenge. It's very important for the uh, student section to come out and just uh, help us tonight because when they're out there being loud and rowdy, uh, we feed off their energy. When we see our um, section full, it just allows us to play on a new level. Uh, we're thankful for that because when they get loud, we get loud. and It's just really important. Even though it's going to be cold, we know they'll come out. and uh, They all bundle together. They'll probably stay warm, but we're excited. It's going to be a cold one, but it's going to be a big one. I mean, it's the biggest game all year. If we win, we move on. If we lose, it could be our last game. So I don't want you all to miss out on an opportunity of watching us again or going home. And I believe we're going to win this game, but it might be one of the last games you get to see. And uh, it's a game we lost last year, so you can come watch us hopefully win tonight. So I just say come out and support us. Hey, I'm Mr. Peach, the teacher here at BNN. If you have students that are sensitive, sensitive to heavier topics, this may be an episode that's not for them. A few days after his funeral, we brought in to BNN two different groups of students, one group chosen by Reggie Grimes and the other group chosen by Jalen Sal, to interview about memories of Jay Sean. We didn't pull the footage up for months after that, simply because I wasn't sure that we could handle it because we typically don't do topics that are so serious, but also personally, I was pretty sure that I couldn't handle it. Eventually in the spring, one of my students, Brendan Earl, who's graduated now, decided that he wanted to be the person to jump in on, on something that was so important, and I, I appreciate that, and I hope he sees this. So what you're about to see is interviews that happened this time last year 2018, a few days after Jay Sean's funeral. You're gonna see a lot of people who are hurting and a lot of those people are hurting today. If you notice, please give them the space they need or give them the love that they need. Thanks. Smart kid, really. He was really intelligent. Um, and at all times, he didn't really act like it. Like Sometimes he didn't really apply himself, but he was probably one of the smartest people I actually knew. Well, he was like a loving person or whatever. And fun to be around. And we were playing basketball. And like, Jay Sean, he had a weird jump shot. I'm not even going to lie. His, his, jump shot, his jump shot was weird. His jump shot was really weird. But went in every, every time he shot it, it went in. Like, I don't know how. Like, the way he shot the ball, like, normally people shoot the ball, it goes kind of higher up. It went straight at the rim. It went in every time. Ooh. Like, what was even the point of jumping? Like, you can just... He didn't jump. That's the thing. He'd he get to, like, his tiptoes and then let like, it go. Uh. Yes, and the ball would not go high at all. It goes straight. And just, I don't know how he made everything that he made because the ball never went high enough to like go in, but it went in. Like, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. Well, he can't rap. He just thought he could rap. <laughs> 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 and like his jokes don't be funny at all. No, he used to be bad when he be No, <laughs> they, just, they don't be funny. But he like try to force it to the point where it's funny and I just be like, okay. He like to talk about people a lot. You a hate. <laughs> <laughs> he showed like a lot of people like us a little comfort that actually like people actually cared about him as much as we did. And it showed us how like it comforted us like a little bit. It showed us how much people cared for him. And stuff. 
probably the hardest thing I've had to do uh, was come to school that day because um, I walk into FCA and I see uh, Jalen, Jalen Sally, he's there. Um, he sees me and I just break out and I start crying because I didn't, like it still hadn't, it still hadn't really hit me yet. Like I got the news that last night cause he called me and I don't think I slept for much longer than 30 minutes. So I had to go to school the next day and I knew, I knew it was gonna be hard, uh, especially in that third block class and it was gonna be really hard. Um, but to see everybody, uh, show their support, it meant a lot. Um, to not only me, but to everybody uh, who we affected, everybody who we touched, and everybody in this community, it meant, was, it meant a lot. All in J2. That's all I got to say. I mean, he might have put off like a bad vibe with people, but like he was always a funny and caring person, like no matter what. Like if you come to him with problems, he'd always like try to help you, even though like somebody might else be going, he might be going through something, but he's always there for you. We literally went everywhere. Like we was always on the move. Like we'd be in Murfreesboro, and sometimes we'd drive to Bowling Green, Kentucky. Mm -hmm. Like, but we'd turn our phones out so everybody look for us. But then sometimes we'd go to the Lake and just talk and just chill. Like that's all we did. We just drove. And just talk with the music loud, with the windows down. Sometimes he out the car. Sometimes I might be out the car. Like sometimes I let him drive. We just went everywhere. We just like, if you didn't know him, I, I couldn't even explain to you like the vibe he put out to if he really know you and like how he make you feel. Like every day was an adventure. Every day, we used to fight for real. Like it was real. Like we got it was real. Like we got my house. That jump real. Like it was real fights. Anyone know, like, we want to fight over, like, little things. Like, they'll fight over the front seat. Or, like, he would try to drive sometimes. I'm like, no, you're not driving. Like, what are you talking about? You never let me do nothing. <laughs> you think you're grown? And then I'm grown, too. And then we'd be, like, fighting for real then. Like, we throwing hands. But like, I guess he was just alpha male, though. And that's what I feel like I am. Like, the same personality. So he feel like he runs stuff. I feel like I run stuff. So, like, if we got to argue, we was going to fight when we got home. Yeah, he, he got on my nerves a lot. It would just be like petty stuff. He would just do stuff to like get a reaction out of me because, you know, like little things bother me. So, you know, he would just keep touching me. I'd be like, Ja'Shawn, chill. And he would keep doing it just so I can laugh with him. Like any time he would really get on my nerves. It wasn't me really being mad at him. It would just be like he would just argue my soul. Like, tell him to chill. Mm. That's the thing about him. I could be like perfectly happy. But he'll just do something. And it just like makes me so bad. And he thinks it's funny. That's the crazy thing about it. Like. They just keep bugging me about it. And knowing me, I'm so goofy. Like, I end up laughing anyways, and we just end up laughing together. Like, I can't stay mad at him. I could never stay mad at him. I talk to his mom every day, and it still don't feel real. Like, sometimes I'll be, like, the way I be texting her, it makes it seem like I'm finna go pick him up or something. And then, like, every time, the first thing I do when I come home, I drive to the apartment, so I just say I got, like, 15 minutes. Because he was always late. And like, I did it today, though, when I came up to the school. Like, I'm seeing everybody, and I said, I said, where's Jay Sean? And I had forgot. But I had to say it real low because I don't want to hurt nobody else. But I, had to, I did that today. I mean, but when I'm in Memphis, though, I get reminded all the time. Because I got pictures of him everywhere. I'm like, why well, I got this little ugly boy on my wall. <laughs> like, and he, I got a picture of him in my locker, too. Both my lockers. And in all my classrooms. Yeah, everywhere. So it's, it's really, it don't seem real here at home, but away it's real. Yeah. That's the thing, like... One, the kid is unforgettable. Like, there's no way. And I didn't realize, like, how big of a role that he played in my life. Like, it's like the small things that matter, like waiting at the bus stop with him, uh, walking around the park, just texting him, him telling me to come outside, you know, just like small stuff like that. Like, everything is different. And I get, like, really defensive, whatever, like, when people talk about him and everything. Because I still don't, you know, like, it's still not clicking for me, but there's no forgetting the kid. Okay. Yeah. It was his last day, and I got the chance to talk to him and everything. Of course, we would have our laughs and everything, you know, all that fun stuff. But my main thing would probably be to tell him, you know, how much he mattered to everyone, to me, to Kalia, Jalen, Brianna, everyone. Like, whether you knew him or not, if you just talked to him, like, he made an impact on you. Like, he, he was a really special kid. Like, 
just something about him. He was just from his smile to his laugh to just what he said to you. He made a really big impact. So I would want him to know how much he mattered to everyone and how much everyone loved him. How much I loved him.